To show you how to stack, I've gone ahead and made a simple Git repository. Using Git status, I can tell that I'm on branch main, and using Git branch, I can tell that this repository already has six branches. But this doesn't tell the story of stacking, because the story of stacking is one of putting branches on top of other branches. For that, I'm going to use Graphite. Graphite's installed into your command line as gt, and the first command I like to show people is gtlog. gtlog goes ahead and shows you your, your repository as a graph. So I can go ahead and see here that I'm on branch main, and I can see that main has three directly descendant branches. And I can tell that because there are three lines coming out of main. One for account for empty state, one for activity feed open API spec, and one for fixed crash and reload. What's interesting around activity feed open API spec is that it's the base of a stack, meaning that there's another branch that depends on it, in this case, activity feed server API, and another branch that depends upon that activity feed front end. These three branches together, activity feed open API spec, activity feed server API, and activity feed front end, make up a stack or a set of pull requests that have dependencies between one another. Despite the fact that this looks very fancy, it is just Git under the hood. I can go ahead and I can run Git checkout on activity feed server API, and I can go ahead and I can run GT log again, and Graphite will be aware that I've checked out this branch. Based on the name of these changes, I can take a guess at what it's doing. I'm working on this feature activity feed, and I've realized that it can actually be split out into three different sets of changes. I have an open API spec where I go ahead and define the API specification for a new endpoint that I'm going to need. I have the server API where I go ahead and implement that endpoint. And I have the front end changes where I go ahead and call that endpoint. The important part about stacking is that I've gone ahead and structured my branches such that each branch can be landed before with only can be landed without anything later on having to be landed. What I mean by that is that activity feed open API spec can be landed first. It's okay if your open API spec just exists. The endpoint can be landed next because I've already defined the specification and it's okay if you have an endpoint that has no callers. And then the front end can be landed last because it depends on all the code I've already landed. If I wanna see the same information, but a little bit shorter, I can run GT log short to go ahead and see the same graph, but uh, simplified so that I can so that I only see one line per branch and the current branch is just checked uh, is just checked off or a filled in dot. Thanks.